Hello and welcome to today's video. Now, today's video is in response to a comment that was left on a previous video. In fact, the comment was left twice on two separate videos. So I presume this person would like the answer fairly desperately. And let me go ahead and help you along with this. Now, when we first look at this, it does look like a fairly complex uh, com composite function here. And it is fairly complex, but it's actually composed of three you could push to four but i'm going to put three separate little functions and the first thing i'm going to identify is this sine 2x let me just pop that down here so we've got sine of 2x and to differentiate sine 2x that's fairly straightforward the next thing is we've got the cosine of something and at a very basic level we could have the cosine of something like cosine of x and again fairly straightforward now, the last thing we'd need to deal with is this cubic here. And again, at a very basic level, we could have something like x cubed. Now, those three functions, there are fairly easy to differentiate, but we need to put them all together within this one function here. So let me go ahead and just tidy things up a little bit on the screen before we proceed. As I say, this can be fairly straightforward as long as we track where we're at. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a substitution and apply the chain rule. And the substitution I'm going to make is to let u equal, I'm going to let u equal the cosine of sine 2x. I would then need to differentiate that. So du by dx equals. Now to differentiate that is fairly complex. I'm going to break that down a little bit further in a second. So that's the first part of the chain rule. So we found du by dx. And then we'd say, well, y therefore is equal to, well, we've just used this substitution here into here. So now we have that y is equal to u cubed and dy by du. Well, that's easy to differentiate. That's just three u squared and then what we'd say is well dy by dx well that would be equal to dy by du multiplied by du by dx so the d by dx is going to be the fairly complex bit so let me just break that down over here well, let's say that we had y is equal to the cosine of sine 2x so that's the bit we were trying to differentiate. And this is the bit that can be fairly complex. Well, again, I'm going to apply the chain rule. And let me make an, another substitution. So this time, let u equal sine 2x. Now, to differentiate, that is fairly straightforward. du by dx, that would be equal to 2 cosine of 2x. And then we have that y is equal to cosine of u because we've made that substitution into here and dy by du well that is equal to a negative sine of u and then applying that chain rule we've got dy by dx is equal to dy by du multiplied by du by dx dy by du is equal to negative sine of u multiplied du by dx, which is 2 cosine of 2x. And let's just simplify that. Well, we've got the negative, we've got this 2 here. And then we've got sine of u. Well, u is sine 2x. So what we have is the sine of sine 2x. And the last thing here is just to pop that cosine of 2x on the end. So this thing here is the differential that we wanted over on the left hand side. So negative 2 sine of sine 2x cosine of 2x. So let's pop that over here. We have negative 2 sine of sine 2x and cosine of 2x. 
So now we can make the substitution into our chain rule. So we know that dy by du, well, dy by du is 3u squared. So 3u squared. And that is multiplied by du by dx. That's the thing we've just done, which is negative 2 sine of 2x. Of sine 2x, I should say. And then cosine of 2x. And last thing is just to tidy up and substitute back in for u again. Well, I've got this negative 2 and the 3, so that's negative 6. We've got u squared, and u is this thing highlighted up here. So that's going to give us cosine squared of sine 2x. And then what are we left with? We're left with the sine of sine 2x and cosine 2x. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.